Hey guys, welcome to another Essential Tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Anima People within NVIDIA Omniverse Create. Now traditionally when you go and save a file and you bring it into 3ds Max, I found that it was kind of difficult to export those files into the USD format. So I'm just going to show you an example of what I encountered here. So I had it open in 3ds Max. All the animation and textures and everything plays as expected. But as soon as you select all those people and try and export it as an FBX or an Alembic file or a USD in this case, um, you'll find that as soon as you bring it into NVIDIA Omniverse, that it doesn't play correctly. So in this project file I have set up here, I wanted to add some Anima people. And when I brought in the USD file, nothing was happening. None of the animation was brought in and it wasn't working as expected. So a workaround I found that might help you out is I used Unreal Engine. Now using Unreal Engine, you can actually directly bring in assets from Anima. So just make sure you have the plugin installed correctly and using the Anima importer, um, you can go into your content bar and you just have to simply import that Anima project file. And then from here, once it's all loaded up, I'm just gonna load up my default project here. The key thing you need to have is the Nucleus server installed because when you're exporting in Unreal Engine, you need to have that in order to be able to access your files later on. So as long as that's installed, we can select all of the people in our scene. And all you have to do is right click and go export to Omniverse. And the only thing I'm gonna change is making sure that it's in the export as a Y access, um, a Y up access. And from there, we're gonna save it onto our Nucleus server. And I'm just gonna save it somewhere in our projects folder here. And from here, give it a name, and you're gonna now have a USD file. Now, using this USD file, we can then directly bring it into Omniverse Create. So I'll show you here in one second. So let's jump back into Omniverse now. And uh, again, you need to have Nucleus Server installed. So let's go back onto our Nucleus Server. And I'm just gonna drag in that USD file that we just exported out of Unreal Engine. And there you go. So now you can see that that looks a lot closer to what uh, we were expecting. And it's gonna bring in all your textures and it's gonna bring in all your animations. Um, so all I did after this point is I started lining it up to where I wanted them in my scene. You can select the topmost part of the layer and you can simply just drag and position it in your scene to where you want it to be displayed. So one other thing I did is that the ground in my scene wasn't actually perfectly flat. Although all the animation and textures were playing as expected, there was some penetration of the feet going through the ground. So what I did is because of the USD, uh, the way it brings in all those different layers, you can actually individually click on the people and then you can simply add keyframes to their height in order to make sure that they're not actually going through the ground. So that's something I did here for all the different characters. I just simply scrubbed through my animation timeline. And then for each of the steps in their feet, I was just able to add a few keyframes uh, on the Y axis and make sure that they were stepping on the ground as expected. So this is a pretty handy um, way to bring in all your anima, anima people. You don't have to worry about constantly re-exporting. Just build your scenes in anima, make sure it's looking good that way, and then bring it into Unreal Engine before bringing it into Omniverse Crate. It was just a workaround I found that, that made it all work. So I just went and finished this up for the rest of my scene. And you can even duplicate that anima layer. You can duplicate people, move them around, populate your scene as needed. Um, that's another way to, to work um, with these kind of assets as well. So I hope that helped you guys out and I'll see you next time.